be a first at five, a special meeting taking place among Nueces County commissioners in regard to the possibility of adopting new regulations for local game rooms. Some changes could include a restriction in the hours of operation and limiting where these game rooms are actually allowed within county lines. Three News reporter Mariah Gallegos is live at the Nueces County Courthouse where that meeting is kicking off and she joins us now with our top story at five. Mariah. Hi, Leslie. Yeah, it's a packed room. I just want to give you a view of what things are looking like right now here at the Nueces County Courthouse. Maitland, if you'll just, our photographer here, if you'll just pan over and show viewers at home and in our studio what the courthouse is looking like. Everyone waiting, so many people here. I mean, groups of people here uh, on both sides of this really waiting to speak. There is a number of speakers expected here tonight. At least five people have signed up to speak tonight. Again, this is in response to what the Nueces County Commissioners are going to be talking about. It's changes in the regulations for game rooms here within County Lines. Several different changes I was able to take note of. Again, just lots of people here, but I do want to run through some of those changes here. One of those would be to restrict hours. Game rooms would be required to only be open between the hours of 10 in the morning and 9 in the evening. They would also have to be restricted in their locations. They will not be allowed within 15 1500 feet of schools, religious places and neighborhoods. They'll also be required to get permits in order to be in operation. They'll also have to provide security in their locations. This could be with a peace officer or a security that's approved by the state and they can be fined up to $10,000 if they violate any of these regulations. Again, this is what Nueces County Commissioners will be talking about here set to uh, set off here at 5 p.m. So running just a few minutes behind, uh, we did, 3 News did speak with Chief Green with the Corpus Christi Police Department. He, in support of more of these regulations, here's what he had to say. Gambling is still illegal in the state of Texas, and if you're paying out cash money for a game that uh, is either partial uh, by chance or totally by chance, that's gambling. Uh, so it doesn't legalize that. Now, I did have the chance to speak with someone ahead of this who said he'll be representing a few of the game rooms here tonight. He says the form that this is in as of right now is just not right. He says that specifically the finance requirements that the game rooms will then have to submit to the county. So a lot of things that are going to be discussed here. We'll keep you updated, have an update for you at 6 of how it goes. Again, set to start here in just a bit. But reporting live here at the Nueces County Courthouse, I'm Mariah Gallegos. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Mariah, thanks for that. Lots of folks there interested in that issue. Well,